This is an introduction to limits of a function. Why do we need to study limits? Well, the short answer is because this concept is the backbone of calculus. This is how we define the derivative and the definite integral. So it's a pretty big deal, right? I will introduce this idea using a concept that you all know, evaluating functions. As you will see later, finding the limit of a function is like evaluating a function. The difference is that when we evaluate a function, we only use one value for x. When we find the limit, we use a set of values for x. But what does finding the limit mean? Finding the limit means we want to know what value f of x will approach to as x approaches some value. After all, f of x only depends on the value of x, so this makes a lot of sense. Let me give you an example. Suppose f of x equals x squared plus 1. What value will f of x approach to when x approaches 0? Before we answer this question, it is worth noting that there are two directions in which we can approach 0. We can start from the left of 0 or from the right of 0. The limit that we get when we approach a 0 from the left is called the left limit. Likewise, the limit that we get when we approach 0 from the right is called the right limit. For this function to have a limit as x approaches 0, the left limit and the right limit must be equal. Let's start with the left limit. We will make a table of values but the numbers should approach 0 from the left. Then, we will evaluate the function at these values. As you can see, when the values of x approach 0 from the left, f of x approaches 1. Thus, we can say that the limit of the function from the left is 1. We will do the same thing for the right limit. We will make a table of values, but the numbers should approach 0 from the right. Then we will evaluate the function at these values. As you can see, when the values of x approach 0 from the right, f of x approaches 1. Thus we can say that the limit of the function as x approaches 0 from the right is 1. Now, since the left limit and the right limits are the same, we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 is 1. 